Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Let's see what we have for you. And it will be from January to February 2022. And remember Libra, these readings won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. We will pull a couple of oracle cards and then go into the tarot as usual. Okay, what do we have for Libra in money and career, please? Angel Spirits Guides. January to February 2022. Mechanic. Mend what needs mending. It might be broken, but all is not lost. Consider a career as a mechanic in automotive, aerospace or repair technician. You have the ability to easily fix your finances, but a sacrifice may be needed. Fixing something maybe, could also be something mechanical here that you're interested in. We've got life purpose. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. What is meant for you will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward. Ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. Wow. Whatever you set your sights on here, it feels you have an opportunity to not only bring resolution, but to achieve it. Okay. Let's pull an energy card. What do we have for Libra, please? message okay thank you we have the temple path this is about finding your purpose finding your spiritual path you know towards your end goal you know finding the right path number 12 it really fits in beautifully with the reading and we have the magician and the mirror number 53 which is manifesting let me read that out to you libra this is the energy deck So we have Magician and the Mirror, knowing and using your true power. This card upright culminates, represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the Magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. When you receive the Magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life, and just as an alchemist turns base metal to gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny, and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant reality. There is something about destiny here. And what else do I need to pull for you? An angel card. Okay, what do we have, please, angels, for Libra in money and career? Thank you. January to February 2022. Message for Libra, please. It's up to you. I mean, the message is you make it happen this month or the next couple of months. Okay, Libra. Interesting energy. Very exciting energy. Magical. Let's see what we have for you. Overarching energy first for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides in Money, Career and Finances. January to February 2022. What do we have for our lovely Librans, please? Overarching energy first. Thank you. That flew out. The fool taking that leap of faith. It's a new beginning. A feeling of carving out a new path for yourself. Two of swords. Libra energy. Libra energy again with the empress. 
Taurus or Libra with the Empress, but I feel because it's your reading, this is you. And Germany, the Empress is about creating something new. The birth of something new. We have the Ace of Cups here. Eight of Swords. The Star. Oh my goodness. This is blind trust, blind faith with the full energy. The Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, which is an energy of moving to better times, moving in the right direction, having brought, I feel in this energy, brought transformation to your life. There is a beautiful new beginning that I feel you want here. I feel you're manifesting something here, Libra. It feels really exciting. For some of you, it might well be that you want to carve out a different path. You want to create something new. For some of you, it might well be your own baby, your own business. For others of you, it might well be that you might want to start in some kind of new industry or new job or change industries or change you know change the job that you were doing you know it could be changing industries changing job roles in some way to do something that is that you're more passionate about moving in that direction and you're making it happen here and it might well be for some of you you've taken the steps or are taking the steps manifestation that you need to take to align to the path that you need to be on that might have been skills development, um, getting the qualifications that you need. You know, all of this kind of energy, it, it feels you, you're... And again, that could be if you're starting something new that's very close to your heart, your baby. It feels like your own business. Again, Empress and the Ace of Cups can be giving birth to something new. It can be pregnancy. But in business terms, this is about launching your own baby here, your own baby business. Um, in, in, for, for others of you, it can be aligning, aligning and again, doing, having done what you need to do to change careers. I feel that this is a change of career here. Either way, it's a change of career because it's either starting, starting your own business or, yeah, or, or it can be about changing careers. The fool is taking that leap of faith, taking that chance on a new path, carving out a new path for yourself. And with that comes liberation from everything else. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take that leap of faith. I'm going to take that chance. Now's the time. I'm going to jump straight in. Because there's, there's something here aligning to your life purpose something that you really want to do because there's a need to fix a situation here and i feel in this energy some of you may be unhappy either with what you're doing or you're being guided in terms of moving forward to another path here two of swords weighing something up eight of swords it just feels a little bit of fear you know, this, this feels trapped in your own head a little bit in weighing something up in whether you do move forward for this or not. Again, we have the star energy in the Empress, the opportunity to create something new in the universe. The universe here, the star energy, is telling you that you are the creator of your own life now. The Empress is, is a creator. You can create something you have an opportunity to create something and it's your dream, it's your hope, your dream, your wish that will come true. But blind faith will be required. Blind faith, jumping straight in and aligning yourself on, onto a path that you're not sure what the outcome's going to be. Blind faith will be required here, hope, faith. But there's every reason to be optimistic. It's such a hopeful reading, but it will require an element of 
trust here, blind trust, blind faith. Spirit is guiding you to a new path. And again, your intuition is going to speak strongly for something very close to your heart, something that will bring you happiness and joy. So aligning to something that you really want to do. Again, that's either starting your own business and jumping straight in. It doesn't necessarily mean for some of you that you have to give up something. I mean, some of you, the full can be a liberating energy. It can be taking that leap of faith as well. So for some of you, it might well be you're liberating from something. For others of you, it might well be you're starting this up in addition to whatever you're doing. Um, but the chariot is saying, you know, it's not going to be easy, but there's real victory here, you know. So whatever this is, uh, this is also overcoming internal obstacles and going for something. So the chariot can be our own internal way of overcoming internal energies, internal blocks where we can fight with ourselves sometimes like that is there. It can also be an energy of going for something in your external environment. And one can sometimes lead the other, overcoming any doubts, fears, reservations and jumping straight into something. And again, the transformation that comes from that Libra, the Six of Swords, you know, putting any troubles or anxieties behind you and moving to better times. This is a transition here. This is where you might be launching something, but it looks really hopeful and optimistic in terms of how you're moving forward. So, it, and this is a card of change, positive change, positive transition. You know, this can also suggest that there's a reason for you to move from difficulty to calmer waters. So if you're not happy where you are, if you're not happy what you're doing, you know, this is the opportunity to, to go for it now. Because you are the magician, you are the alchemist, you have the opportunity to, to create something here, to manifest something with the empress, to make it happen. And there is a feeling of the time will be presented in the next couple of months for you to go for this here, I feel. And you're going to be led by your intuition. Wow. Feels really hopeful. Yeah, I cut the cards and I've got field mouse success. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big. How appropriate is that? I'm going to put that down because I did look at it. Okay, it's interesting. The other side of that was monkey, inner child, don't take life too seriously. But when we were talking about launching your baby, you know, your child, your business baby, your business child, for some of you that feels appropriate. Okay. Or doing what brings you joy. Again, career change, I feel. We have Panda Balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. And we have Rabbit, Sensitive Soul. Strengthen boundaries and cut cords. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.